Hello, this is Lior, and today we're going to be looking at the new Cash Shop interface in the Rift free-to-play conversion. It's got the little Rift Store icon down there, and this is the homepage of the new Cash Shop section with a number of different things that they would like you to buy, including a cool-looking mount. So there's services on here. Uh, it's sort of what you would expect. Um, transfers, faction change. This is interesting. Trade skill extension if you want to learn more skills. Uh, one of the really cool things I thought was the mass soul mend, and that's pretty cheap too. Uh, if you're going to raid, you're probably going to have to get that. Of course, there's a lot of equipment. There's a really good preview system. Oh, look, lockboxes. What a surprise. Uh, there are bundles put together. There's uh, also armor, weapons. You can do weapons uh, transmutes now. So as you can see, it shows if this item is an upgrade. If it's available in a different currency, for example, Infinity Stones here, you can see it there, and the price of it in green diamond thingies. You can also gift items to people, which is kind of cool. So gift name and text and pick a wrapping of your choice and it will appear in their mailbox. Free delivery. Uh, if you're trying to buy stuff for an alt, that's fine. You can use the menu to filter or unfilter as you want, so you're not limited. And of course, there's other things like slot and tiers and whatnot. And at the very bottom is a list of all your currencies, because some things uh, in the interface are not buyable with green diamond thingies. For example, drinks is just straight up platinum. All the vendors in the game now use this interface, so yeah, get used to it. Here's some more bundles. What a surprise. You can preview the bundle. It's got a pretty good preview interface. Nice 3D representation there. Uh, below, you can actually remove all the items that you looked at at once with the Clear All button. There's a number of costume options. Here's a good example of something that you cannot buy with cash store currency, but that's uh, Lucky Coins returning in artifacts. You can try on one item at a time. And if you try on multiple items, you can also remove them one item at a time, which is pretty cool. Of course, there are a number of mounts. Uh, most of them you can buy with Cash Shop. That's a pretty good preview window again with that. And there are a lot of mounts. Things that you need reputation for, you still will need the reputation for it. So uh, you can't just buy your way through to them. And of course, there's a number of special mounts that you can only buy with Cash Shop currency, including this weird green dragon goat. Okay. There are also a myriad of pets, as you can see ooh, in the game. It's kind of, I will say, I do like having all these pets uh, in one big list and one big vendor rather than running around to various vendors in the game. And the previews of the pets is not as good as the other stuff, but it is there. Dimensions are the really big thing that's added to the cash shop. Oh, dimension lockboxes, what a surprise. Uh, the number of items that you can put in your dimension has really expanded with a bunch of different options, uh, most of which are available for Cash Shop. There's been some complaints by Dimension fans that the Dimension stuff is overpriced, so we'll have to see how that goes. One thing I think is really cool is this uh, main hero banner will actually show what it looks like on your character. So up here is the loyalty system. Loyalty is their new veterans program, and you can see it goes through tiers, like the colors of gear. Everyone will start out with loyalty based on how long they've subscribed and their activity in Rift. So I've been subscribing since the day it launched, and you can see I'm halfway through the Epic tier. Fortunately, you don't have to get all the way through. Once you get to the end, you get a big bunch of things, and you get smaller things periodically throughout a level. Uh, and some of the stuff, the red stuff, is really cool. I hear there's already a guy in my server on Deepwood who has paid his way to the red tier. I'm hoping that mount is really cool and worth it. Whoa, that's pretty good. You get loyalty points once the free-to-play conversion starts by consuming Rex and buying and spending on the cash shop. What a surprise. So that's just a quick overview of the new store interface for Rift. Thanks for watching.